But Reagan did the exact. I was on the other side of the aisle during that fight, Pat. Well, <laughs> right there. Yeah, but you know, happened. you were on the losing and side I, on that. I, I know. The losing side's but, okay because sometimes the other side's supposed to win, Pat. Well, sometimes I, it's their turn to win because well, they got elected. Well, here's the thing. So that's how it works, Pat. It isn't always trench warfare. When the other side wins, maybe it's good they get the govern. I, I not only agree with you, Chris. I'm glad they got 60 votes. I'm glad they got a big majority mm. in the House. I'm glad they got everything because they should have power, and then you can hold them accountable and right, responsible. We are together, guys. Let's take a look at somebody who may not agree with our sort of democratic view of politics where one side wins an election and governs for a while, then the other side challenges their accountability. Did they do the right thing or not? Let's take a look at, uh, at Rush Limbaugh today and what he had to say about the Democratic Party. Let's listen. Go that's right out of Adolf Hitler's playbook. Now, what are the similarities between the Democrat Party of today and the Nazi Party in Germany. Well, the Nazis were against big business. They hated big business. And of course, we all know that they were opposed to Jewish capitalism. They were insanely, irrationally against pollution. They were for two years mandatory voluntary service to Germany. They had a whole bunch of make-work projects to keep people working, one of which was the Autobahn. They were against cruelty and vivisection of animals, but in the radical sense of devaluing human life, they banned smoking. They were totally against that. They were for abortion and euthanasia of the undesirables, as we all know, and they were for cradle-to-grave nationalized health care. I do not know where to begin, but I'm going to start with Bob Shrub. Bob, I thought I heard everything. It's they are insanely f against pollution. Well, there you have it. Anybody who's against pollution is a Nazi. I mean, it's the most amazing thing. I mean, this guy is an entertainer. Pat, Pat but is, is there Pat, a limit here? Yeah, Pat's Pat, not Bob Shrum. Pat's not going to associate himself with any of that stuff. I don't think it's despicable drivel. I mean, it, it's also yeah, you know, it's factually wrong. The you know there were big German companies like. Crooks who helped fund the Nazi Party movement. And by the sure. way, it's hard to believe since I've seen all these pictures of diplomatic conferences held in Germany with high German officials there in World War II, before World War II, where they're all smoking. I don't think they banned smoking. <laughs> he's just made this up. I don't know. Maybe he's back on whatever he was on before. I well, but not getting too personal. Trump, you took a shot below the belt there, but maybe it was justified this time. Right. Pat Buchanan, think, what do you make of that Jeremiah I, I think, from think, Rush Limbaugh? Well, I, th I look. I think Ribbentrop was the chain smoker, Chris. <laughs> I think. Uh, <laughs> Look, uh, I've seen pictures of him with a cigarette. But okay, you're back right. to the larger they, no, question. Big business, is Nancy big business Pelosi. was in bed with Hitler. Right, okay, they helped bring right, so power. his point's ridiculous. First of all, uh, Hitler's impossible to figure out in terms of economic ideology, I think it's fair to say. <laughs> uh, putting him on the other side is the cheapest shot. And I think that anybody who ch ch uses the Hitler thing on the other right. side is always playing a bad game. Yeah. But here's the question. How dirty is this campaign getting, Pat? Oh, you mean Against the, the health care bill. Anything well, look, goes. You call it Nazism. What what well, further shot can you take? Well, I, look, I just don't is there think, anything worse? I don't think people are going to think Barack Obama is a Nazi, uh, you know. And so, but look, I do agree with you to this extent. Uh, you should never bring the Nazis into yeah. the into the argument because then we're all arguing about Nazis and you're not all yeah, arguing. Yeah, the about people who are anti-abortion do it too. I think we got to stop these comparisons. Well, I agree with you 100. percent But it, the conservatives are usually called fascist and all the rest yeah. of it, you know. So, well, that's fair, but I man. agree with you. On that. I, I, I haven't actually heard that recently. <laughs> teasing, <laughs> teasing. Let's move on. That's I think socialists. I think socialists, <laughs> syndicalists, Fabians. Let's get really sophisticated here. Right.